a new day, everyone. Good morning. Rise and shine. Yo, how's it going everybody? It is time to play some Xenoblade. Hopefully we're all doing super well. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a few days since we last played Xenoblade. Cause yeah, what was that? Uh, Tuesday? Alright, yeah, Tuesday was the last time we were playing. So, what was I doing last? I don't remember. But yo, I see we got 10th Doctor and Lucky2876. Yo, what's up peoples? How are y'all doing? Alright, I don't remember what I was up to, but I'm sure I just need to follow the arrow. That'll take me where I need to go. Are you gonna fight me? Nah, you're not aggressive. Is there a particular way to tell what's aggressive and what isn't besides walking into its face? And if there is, I don't know. You're blind? Yeah, this is a blind playthrough. It is still true. Oh, Anchor Shot actually uh, is available in the second set of auto attacks. That's interesting. Yeah, let's use Heat. And then, yeah, Steam Bomb as soon as that's active. I don't really know how that works. Like, I wish I knew. Because, like, I see that their stuff is becoming active earlier on, but then it, like, goes away. And maybe one day I'll learn why. Oh, 48. <laughs> swimming? Yeah, sometimes you gotta go swimming, man. Alright, so should I go straight for the art 3? Or should I try to get art 4? Oh, well, there's art 4. <laughs> the answer's that. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, like, shouldn't that deal more damage? There it is. There's my damage. Oh, didn't I get some sort of weird art cancel ability? I don't remember what it was. But I'm pretty sure I got some sort of art cancel. Yo, Akiko Kala saying, hi, Super 2, how are you? Yo, I'm doing really good. How about you? You know, just been playing the video games, nothing too crazy. Let's see, what have I been playing? I mean, cause like, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the stream yesterday. Did I play anything though? Um, not that I can remember. Yo, Steam Explosion. Excellent. Steam Explosion Break? I can get a break for the Steam Explosion? Why didn't anybody tell me? Oh, he already got the topple. I was going to go for it. What is this game? Yo, this game is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This game's uh, pretty cool. It's pretty chill. Oh, what is, what is fighting me? <laughs> Hold on, I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Ow! But yeah, uh, this world uh, takes place... Like The interesting thing about this world is it takes place on what's called Titan. Like, in this world, it's just a bunch of just vast ocean and clouds. But, uh, the land uh, is on top of these giant animals, like that right there. That's a titan. Like it's a I tinier thought. one, though. A titan? So that weird power effect they clocked. Maybe this is the cause. Yeah. Sure looks like it. I'll hazard it wasn't death by old age, either. Might have been an accident. On the other hand, it might have been attacked. Yo, Co Rocket, what's up, man? Oh, jeez. Yo! What are these guys? Hey, look! 
Seems like this Titan dying off has stirred up something else. Yeah, we got some sort of giant spider thing, and then some other, like, I don't even know what. Wait, wait, they're a driver in a blade? <laughs> what? This giant spider is a driver? Interesting. Very interesting, dude. Oh, wow. It's like all shielded up or something. Can I get behind it? Let's see. Let's try this out, yeah? Yeah, let's get that topple, huh? There we go. Now we're getting damage in. <laughs> I know, right? I did not expect this Arachno here, man. Oh, wait. I didn't use heat, did I? Let's take care of that. Ow. Alright, and then we just have to use Steam Bomb as soon as that's up. Yeah, did I, did I answer what this game is? It's definitely a JRPG. I'm sure you can see that much. It's made by Monolith Soft? Yo, why does this thing have this, like, shield, dude? I don't know how to hit this thing. I mean, the Steam Bomb's active, so that's something. Oh, wait, it's top. Oh, wait, yeah, it toppled, not break. <laughs> Excuse me. I tried to topple a topple. It doesn't work. Oh, I was a little slow on that. So I gotta get my level 3. I'm trying, man. Ow. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm getting knocked down too much. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, but it's activation time. Nope, got the steam explosion. Let's go. I did not think I was gonna get that. Feels good, man. Nice. I didn't get the break this time, though. <laughs> I have no idea how any of that works, man. Sometimes I get a break, sometimes not. Yeah, the combat in this game is pretty interesting. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm dead! He just kind of, yeah, Termination Blast. Definitely just kind of killed me, man. There wasn't a lot I could do about that. But yeah, it's just like Xenoblade Chronicles 1, where you can break. Like, you can inflict a status called break. And then after that, you can inflict topple, which causes the enemy to, well, be toppled. They're on the ground for a bit. And they can't do anything. And then, yeah, there's these arts I keep trying to do. If you do a blade combo, you do lots and lots of damage. So I'm trying to do that right now. If I need to get my level 3 art, and to get my level 3, I have to use um, what's called ability cancels or something like that. Or art cancels, that's what they're called. Ow, ow, ow! Termination Blast! Why do you do this? Could you, could you pick me up? Thank you. Jeez, man. Yeah, this is going really bad, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna win this fight. This thing is way too strong. Right, yeah, let's stand over here. Oh my gosh, darn it. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you didn't reposition yourself. Then I have to reposition too. Oh, is that a break? I'll top of that. To get the feeling it can't mess up my attacks if it's toppled. They're called auto attack cancels? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Auto attack cancels. Because, yeah, right there, when you see that blue, like, ring pop up, like, yeah, I'll do three strikes. One, two, and there's the third one, and then bam, that little blue circle, that's my auto attack cancel. And if you do it on the third swing, you get more points towards your art, so that's what I'm going for. Alright, I have the yellow beam. Shouldn't we get level four? Yeah, give me that. Oh, I didn't get it fast enough. Yeah, rip. If he had knocked me backwards, that would have been fine. Oh, well, it's still damage. Just not quite how I wanted to do all of that. Alright, so I'm gonna give some time before I activate the Steam Bomb so I can try to build up some of my own special. Then again, Arachno is really low. You know, let's just get in there, man. Ow, ow, ow! But guys gotta stop killing me! Oh, 
Where's my level 2? I have 82 HP, man. Yo, everybody's dying. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna use my art and hope for the best. There we go. Cause <laughs> yeah, I was about to die, dude. Everybody was about to die. Oh man, that was painful. But that's so weird. I've never seen a spider, or well, an animal <laughs> with a blade, blade before. Blade returned to its core. So that monster was in resonance with the blade. Tora cannot resonate. Stinky monster can resonate. Not fair. But Master Pond had Poppy. Oh, Poppy! <laughs> if a blade loses its driver, it winds up like this. So, is it like dead? Nah. The crystals start glowing again after a bit of time. Then a new driver can resonate with it. But there's a bot. Its memory will be totally zapped. It'll be reborn as a new blade. Won't remember a thing. Yeah? That's pretty rough. To have all your past wiped out like that. But memories can be painful as well. They can be a terrible burden. And a blade can live forever, as long as the crystal exists. It's just as well. Eternity is a long time to collect bad memories. <laughs> That's fair. Ira. I'm sorry. I was just thinking, sometimes being able to forget is a blessing. Come on. Let's get finished up here. That's... A core crystal! What? Well, that's where they come from. Out of Titans. This one's brand new and ready to resonate. Like a big steak, right before you take that first bite. It'll probably end up buddying up with a bunch of drivers. Every time the driver dies, it'll forget everything and return to its core. Eventually, it'll resonate with a new driver. Drivers dying. Titans dying. The blade just keeps on living through it all. It's a never-ending cycle. An eternal history. As mortals, we'll never be able to understand. It's incredible. Yo, rest in peace, Titan. But Pyra already had a body when we found her. Could her old driver still be alive somewhere? Perhaps. Can a blade resonate with another driver? I mean, I've seen drivers resonate with a lot of blades, but it doesn't work the other way. Can blades resonate with a lot of drivers? I've never uh, seen that. And then, obviously, she still retains her memories. I'm guessing... Like, I don't know if it's, uh... Because, like, yeah, she's had her body before. So before she resonated with me, like, obviously she'd have her memories from whatever before. But yeah, I don't know. The way she was talking, it seems like she's been holding on to memories for a long... Long time. Sounds unfortunate. Oh, you go down there. Ah, jeesh. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go down that way. That looks a lot safer. Questions to be answered? Yeah. Game will let us know all in good time. <laughs> Eventually. That's a very pretty flower. It's like some sort of jewel flower. I gotta remember, I'm inside of a titan. 
<laughs> it kind of disgusts me a bit, but even then, there's a lot of interesting life here. Hmm, it's not going to fight me, that's good. And what do we have over here? A <laughs> gigantic cliff. I'm supposed to go down there, yes? Hmm. I don't want to just fall to my demise. It's less than ideal. Yeah, I don't see how I would possibly get over there. But it looks like there's more land bridges over there. So, like, obviously, I can get over to the other side, just not directly. At least not that I can see. Well, speaking of which, there's a map button, isn't there? Yeah, there's me. It doesn't show too much. We'll just have to go down that path and see if it leads to something. Yeah, this looks like it could be it. Okay, Cole is saying I have so many questions now. I know, right? Like, there's so much I want to know about the game. This place disgusts me, even with the beautiful music. The music is very serene, and some of these flowers are really nice. Some of the animals <laughs> are pleasant to look at. But, like, it's, it's disturbing. You know? Because it's like, I can see these pretty flowers, but then I just look up. And I'm reminded that I'm inside of a creature just looking at these bone-like structures. Yeah, nah. <laughs> it's, um... It's foreboding, dude. I don't like it. I don't want to be in here. I mean, again, yes. <laughs> these creatures are quite majestic. Not the voles. <laughs> I was thinking more of those deer-looking things. But yeah, nah. I'm very ready to get out of here. Apparently I'm in the sternum. <laughs> I don't want to be in the sternum. You think Uriah is pretty? It's like... I don't know. It makes me think of certain places in Super Metroid. Where it's like a contrast, right? Like some things are really beautiful. And yet you're looking at something very... Disturbing at the same time. And that uh, contrast can be a very powerful thing. Which I feel it is, but <laughs> either way, I still want to get out of here. I don't enjoy walking inside of a giant titan. I don't care if people can live inside it. I don't want to be here. I don't want to live in here. I want to get out. Speaking of which, how do I get down? Nope, that's not the right button. Ah, uh, nope, nope. Go back, what, which map was I on? This one. Um, hmm, where am I going? This way? Oh, there's a chest. It's not what I was looking for. Let's see, remember you're just inside the head of the Titan right now. You haven't seen the whole thing. Is that... Hmm, well, I'm in Jeb's Outlook. Oh, come here, coin. Hmm. I don't see these paths. Okay, so I can go to the left or the right? No. Yes? Oh yeah, that's where I came from. I was just running away from those volves. Yeah, we'll, we'll see more of Uraya. <laughs> but I miss the old continent. What was the place I was at? Nia's people and all that? Let's see. Yeah, Gormot. I miss Gormot. Gormot was lovely. Uriah. Ugh. I don't enjoy being inside it. Yes, yes, yes. That's where I need to go. That way. I just got turned around, that's all. Is that a city? There's lights. Ah, jeesh. Isn't the path right over here? Oh yeah, there it is. And yo, Valian's in here saying hi. How you doing, Valian? Hopefully you're doing nice and well today. 
I'm just still inside of this giant beast. Hopefully I can get out soon. Ah, the Mordo. Yeah, that thing's gonna fight me. Let's do it. Because I want that collection point. Oh, it's level 23 to my level 18. You think we can beat it? <laughs> I don't know if I can beat this. And we'll find out. Ow! I'll tell you what. Yeah, Taurus sure was taking his sweet time getting aggro. Let's get heat in there. As fast as possible, please. So, yeah, we can do skin bomb soon. Oh, we got a break. Nice, because yeah, my topple is not up. I did not have the option to do that. Ah, jeez, what was that? Oh, I was dead? I thought it just knocked me down. Nope, I was, uh, kind of dead. Yeah, there's the steam bomb. Took you long enough. Yo, why do these potions have to be, like, not right on top of me? That would be so much more useful. Start an anchor shot, dude. It's broken, but I can't topple. I tried. I didn't get it fast enough. Are you gonna give me my level 4? Yeah, there we go. Feels good, man. <laughs> Yo, that's damage. Huh, it said break, but I don't see a break. Well, oh, whatever. Let's get our damage in, yeah? Yeah, now we're actually doing pretty good up, and then I was not doing as good. <laughs> Yo, please keep up the heals, Nia. I'd appreciate that. Yo, Valiant saying pretty good, wandering around in Grand Pulse. Oh yeah, you're playing a Xenoblade 1. That's cool, man. I really enjoyed that game. It was a lot of fun. I would, uh, get lost quite a bit. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I'd definitely get lost more in this game than I did in, uh, Xenoblade 1. It happened now and then, though. I've died, what, like, three times this fight? Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and get this in. Is it better to use the Art 3 than it is to use the Art 4? Because, like, I get a whole cutscene when I do that. I don't get the cutscene when I use Art 4. I'll never understand. Yeah, I wish there was, like, a damage log so I could look at just the pure numbers and be able to tell the difference. But, I don't know. Let's see, Gower Plains would be Xenoblade 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Grand Pulse is Final Fantasy 15. Excuse me. Or 13, not 15. Uh, Tsitsaki was about to say, there's nowhere in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 called Grand Pulse. Yeah, nah. I mean, it's got a G and a P. Like, it's practically the same thing. You could screenshot the numbers and tell the difference. Yeah, that would probably help. Let's see, wait, what? <laughs> I was supposed to come back here. I guess. Yeah, what's up? I can't leave my post, but I've gotta do something. Oh, well. The thing is, we've got ourselves a little problem here. The kids went out to play, but it's been ages and they haven't come back. When they go out to play sometimes, they come back with stuff we need, like food or raw materials. It's all well and good, but I worry. I've asked them to stop, but you know kids. They just want to help the village in their own way, I suppose. Playing at Mercs. At any rate, it's not unusual for them to be late back, but... Whichever way you slice it, they've been gone an awfully long time. I don't want to overly worry, but you do hear stories. I want to go and make sure they're okay, but I can't abandon my duties. Of course, let's do everything we can. You'll go and check for me? Thanks, that would be a huge help. The kids said they were heading over Great Mall Rapids. I'd start looking there. Thanks a lot. Okie dokie. 
New tense doctor saying, oh hey, your destination was a village you could have skipped traveled back to. Yeah, no. I wasn't paying attention to anything like that. I was unaware. Yeah, we see levels in Gower Plains. Yeah, Gower Plains does have multiple levels. Grand Pole, some. It's a pretty big open field. I don't believe there's multiple levels of elevation in uh, Grand Pulse. I mean, there is if you count that like tower, I think, that's like towards the exit. But outside of that, no, I don't really think so. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Let's look at the map. No, not that one. Alright, well, it's not Great Mall Rep. Well, no, wait. <laughs> there is something here. Oh, it won't let me skip travel. Why not? What do we have against skip traveling? Yeah. I guess I wasn't standing still enough or something. Kids are in trouble. Let's go. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. They're literally right here at the skip travel. Oh, that's a lot of guys. I'm a little worried. Oh, they don't deal too much damage. They're only level 12. Maybe we'll be okay. Yo, it's a free break. <laughs> I can't topple though. Oh, he got it. Man, that's definitely the downside to this uh, type of ability structure in comparison to Xenoblade 1. Like, I can't just use certain abilities when I really want to. Like, you use your ability and it's on a very long cooldown based on your own auto attack. Versus just having its own little cooldown that just builds up after time. Yeah, there's not as much going on, just pressing button-wise, as there was in uh, the first Inner Blade. At least so far, I don't know, the game might unlock something later. Well, let's use our four, yeah? Yo, burning sword! Alright, there's that guy. Yo, what's that? A harvest necklace? Oh, let me get this collection point. Then we'll save the children. <laughs> They'll be okay for two seconds. We already defeated the monsters. Alright, what's up, Jelvin? Oh, there's a chest over there. Are you alright? Have no fear. Y yes, we're all fine thanks to you. Drivers are so cool. When I grow up, I want to be just like... Something wrong? Ah, uh, I wasn't saying nothing. Just talking to myself. We gotta get back to the village, Mr. Dross will be worried. I'll just take that treasure trove. Yo, get good? <laughs> Yo, always gotta get good. You're not wrong, Controlius. Forever and always. Alright, so we got a lot of monies. Now where am I supposed to go? Um, it looks like I can go back over here. And then head north. And Valiant saying, somehow I miss Burning Sword a lot because of the huge delay. Yeah, there is this huge delay, dude. It's pretty awkward. Wait, is this the right way? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Oh, wait. There's a way to... No, it doesn't say if I'm going north or not. Wait, this would be north, wouldn't it? I don't know if it works like that, but I assume so. Is this the right way? Yeah, it looks like we're going the right way. And, uh, let's see. What did I miss? Uh, Tense Doctor can honestly say he isn't usually patient enough to charge Blade Arts to level 4 like Vinx always does. <laughs> I like level 4. And Controlly saying, well, you're playing XC2, so I'm out. But you have fun, Vinx. Night chat. Yo, night, Controlius. And Tense Doctor saying it's just that, uh, second B button press. It's not even something wrong with the frame rate slowing down. It's just programmed to slow there. Oh, what, you mean, uh, during the arts? Yeah, it just kind of does that. But yeah, like, combat definitely, at least at the moment, feels quite a bit slower. 
Like, I thought it would open up when I had the second uh, blade, but I can't just switch between blades and gain access to those abilities. Like, first off, I can't even switch the blade yet. Like, I have to wait and switch to the blade, and then there we go. I can switch to the blade, which allows me to use one of these abilities, which I have, you know, I have access to three. So yeah, I use one of those, and it's like, oh yeah, I use the ability I want. Let me switch to Pyra, and it's like, nope, you can't, you can't do that. You're stuck on a uh, Gorg now. Just enjoy what you got. Yo, why did I like cheer after my attack? What was up with that? All right, so yeah, let me use this. Why not? And then switch back over to Pyra. I prefer using her. All right, what do I have to do to get the um? yellow tether so I can level up to four. I don't know, but we're not doing it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is probably overkill, but I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, he's awfully dead. Excellent! <laughs> well, that's what he gets for being in my way. Alright, um, Valian says, in the first place, three plays per slot, uh, three characters, yeah, you definitely, I do have three characters, you can only have three in the party, which is the same as in a blade one, so I don't mind that too much, and yeah, you can do the three blades, but I don't really see the point of three blades, oh, gosh darn it, do you mind, guy, you're <laughs> like, not really a challenge, you're just kind of in our way. And yo, last place Larry is here, what's up man? How you doing good sir? Hopefully you're doing well. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard a bat, huh? Alright, well let's use this and then use Steam Bomb, yeah? Yeah, there she goes, she's ready. Oh wow, we already have a yellow beam. Oh, we aggroed even more, really? That's okay, Tor should be able to keep all the aggro. With all the uh, items we gave him for aggro up last time we were playing. Oh my goodness. It takes so much time to get our target. Level 4, please. Nah, it's not gonna happen fast enough, I just gotta use it. Yeah, I wanted to wait to get Arc 4, but it wasn't really an option. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, and it's AE. That's cool, I, I didn't know. Yeah, I should look at level 3 and level 4 and see if I can figure out the difference between the two. Oh, someone got toppled. Larry is saying I'm 90% through Cophead. Yo, nice, man. Yo, I had a lot of fun playing Cuphead. So what, you're just on the, uh... What are you on? King... or... Yeah, not King Dice. Something Dice. I don't know what his name is. I don't remember. But yeah, you're towards the end, huh? Pretty cool, man. Oh, wow, you still have most of your HP there, buddy. <laughs> Let's start it with, uh, level 4, yeah? I think that's a good way to start the fight. Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage. What was that, 1,200? On this level 18? Oh, we aggroed another bat! Oh my goodness, how many of these things are there? Get out! Yeah, just my level 1 art does like 600. I mean, to be fair, the level 3 does, level 3 or level 4, whichever, they have a lot of, um, small bits of damage they do before that, like, final blast. So it's obviously still quite a bit more, but it's hard to keep track, because there's a lot of numbers on the screen. I'm not always sure which one are my numbers and which one are my allies' numbers. Oh, well, either way, that's that fight done. 
Alright, so I'm supposed to go this way, yeah? Yeah, it says I'm close. Gosh darn it. Can I not fight every baby monster in the entire world, please? And we're not defeating them very quickly either. It's a little upsetting. You know, you have a gun you use as a fly swatter? An <laughs> assault gun? You know, I've never seen a assault gun. I'm sure it's something silly. And yo, Larry says, I was fighting King Dice when I had to stop last. Oh, okay, so his name is King Dice then? Yo, fair enough. Yeah, I remember when I was doing that, dude. I had quite a bit of trouble. I mean, it, it took a bit, but I eventually got good at, like, every single one of the uh, mini-bosses, so... I was like, I remember at first, I was like, oh, please don't be this one, or please don't be that one. And now I eventually got to the point, I'm like, I'll fight whoever. It doesn't matter. They'll all get bodied. Oh, that was bad timing on my uh, auto cancel there. Wait, what? It says it's like right here. Is it underneath me? It must be underneath. Ah, jeesh. What's that thing, then? The implacable? Implacable Dylan, huh? Alright, Dylan. Look, you need to chill out, okay, buddy? I just want to go over there. Oh, there's a collection form. Can I have that? No, not fight him! No! Collection point! Calm down, peoples. Yeah, that vial's painful. I figured it would be. No, lost the upper oh, I can't pick that up while I'm in combat. Yeah, nah, forget that, man. We're not fighting in there. I refuse. <laughs> Wait, where did you come from? Oh, dude, I'm dead. Alright, let's take out this lizard first. Yo, are you gonna grab aggro, or am I just gonna die here? Really use a heal. There you go. I you know you can do it. I can't topple him. It's not an option. Alright, yeah, use Team Bomb. Yeah, that Steam Bomb did 1,500 to like each of them right there. Almost at level 3, which I can just go straight into level 4. We already have a yellow beam. Yeah, here we go. What did we get? 11k! Not too bad. That's pretty good damage. That's, that's the highest I've seen in a while. And here I thought my level 4 was dealing less damage. I don't know. Things might have been weird earlier, but I guess I got sorted. Yeah, I don't know why I'm dealing such different amounts of uh, damage. I mean, like, obviously I'm fighting different enemies, and different enemies are going to have different defense values. But, like, this is a level 22 enemy, right? And I was fighting, like, level 18s earlier. Why am I dealing more damage to this level 22 than I was dealing to level 18? It doesn't make any sense. Wait, can I get to my level 3 before this guy is defeated? Yeah, there it is. Okay. And... 14k. Yeah, the level 3 did more damage than the level 4. As far as I can tell, a cannon attachment? Is that for Poppy? Let's see. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Let's see. 
It said something like it was a cannon or something. Where does that go? Um, no, I don't think she has a cannon part. Um, so then where did that item go? What was that? Yeah, the cannon attachment. Increases attack power if either cannon class weapons. Okay, so it's a, it's a weapon type. But I don't believe I have a cannon blade. Not quite. Alright, can I pick up this mystery item now? Yeah, no fragment. Well, <laughs> it's complete. Last place later, did Banks, uh... Did Banks person ever make a list of all the quotes? No, I have not. I have not done that yet. Oh wait, now what's fighting me? Did those enemies respawn just because I picked up the item? Yeah, they did. And I'm dead. That's really stupid. That's really, really stupid, man. That is absolutely awful that those enemies would all just respawn because I picked up some item that wanted to enter this cutscene where we say meh and is that all or whatever. It was just two generic things that the NPC or that my characters say in those kind of situations. Oh, that's such garbage. Alright, now what am I supposed to do? Owen says, I'm sad to see we still don't have a Xenoblade 2 Death Sprite. And sadly, you can't use your favorite battle quote yet. Yo, rip. Yo, did my death not go through? Because we were already at 28. Is my death counter script not on? No, it is not. Alright, that should fix it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now what am I supposed to do? Um. Oh, it looks like there's something over there. Let's go check that out. <laughs> You're gonna uh, stick with quote six until I make the list? Yo, that's a stupid quote, Larry. Zero does not wear a diaper. Like, you need to accept on, this. Alright. So which way do I go? Um, I need to go... Uh, west. South, and then that'll give me a west option. I got the item. I did get the item. Since Doctor is too lazy to make a game-specific overlay, unless Vinks really wants it, probably just likes the Mega Man 11 art better. I mean, I honestly don't care one way or the other. I think the Link dead sprite is more than good enough versus, like, the effort I think it would take to make an appropriate Xenoblade dead image. So, yeah. If, it, if it's always a choice between effort and being lazy, I'm always gonna choose lazy, man. That's where it's at. I do quite enjoy not really uh, putting forth a lot of effort. Not unless I have to. I gotta fight that thing, don't I? Now, where even is the thing I'm looking for? It's all on that little island? How do I get up there? Hmm. <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do? I can't fly. I don't know what the game wants from me here. So yeah, there's no climbing. There's no climbing. There's no flying. It's just an island. What do I do? It's not like I fall from, like, a higher floor. That's all just ceiling right there. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I don't think the quest gives me any hints or anything either. Yeah, quests in this game aren't very detailed. So yeah, mysterious note. The note you found in Acid Gala is a map of sorts with a spot marked on it. Why not go and see what you find? Yeah. There's a, there's a thing there. I can see some sort of... A white thing with gold embroiderment, but it's got me, man. You know how to get up there to this doctor? Yo, I have no idea. You have bad memories about this chest, Valian? Yeah? Wait, 
quote 22 who needs a strike chain yo strike chains are important but i don't know what kind of noob said that don't trust that quote that quote's dumb um i still can't fly i still can't climb and i still don't see any magical thing so it's not like you interact with things in this game like I mean, you do, but it's pretty rare. Uh, I can't go under the water either. So if there was like some thing where you like swim under and then up, I don't, I don't think that's an option either. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any way I could get that. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm done with this quest. That's dumb. Uh, let's see. What can I actually do? Yeah, what was the, like, main quest? It would be Mercs. Oh, I haven't turned that in yet, have I? Let's go do that. Um, where do I need to go? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> do I want to know how to get there? Um, I mean, I'm just gonna leave it behind, so I guess either way, I don't really care. You're all mine. Poppy power. Yep, she does not have no pun wisdom. Yo, how, what does she need to have the no pun wisdom? Let's see. Uh, speak to a no pun. Okay. Well, if I find more no puns to talk to, I'll do that. I know there's quite a few I could possibly talk to in, like, uh, the first town, but again, can't be bothered. Still, I thought you were a tough salvager, Rex. Give me a break. Pain is pain, isn't it? How about you? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a scratch. <laughs> that was on purpose. You were hurting me on purpose, weren't you? Well, I wasn't. Honest. I was just rubbing the lotion in. Rex, you rubbed it too hard. Ah. It hurts. Hi, See? you two. Give me a look at that. this haven't seen this before don't know why a blade would be stuck with a bunch of wounds and they're exactly the same as rex's well he is sharing her core piece i'm sure that's something incredible to never heard of such a thing it's all true i just thought it was an accessory van damme that's not my style Blades are supposed to heal up right away, no matter what the wound. If the crystal's in one piece and the driver's alive, nothing can touch them. So why is she all bashed up? That's just how the chips fell. It is what it is. What it is is a problem. It means if one of you kicks the bucket, you both do. You told me that a good driver always protects his blade. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna protect her. Easier said than done, kid. Listen, Pyra, she saved my life, brought me back from the dead, so I won't die again. I've got to live for her sake until we get to Elysium, at least. We can make it together. Rex, you mean? Going to Elysium? I can't let that stand. <laughs> oh, the Lord Gibbons. What's up, man? It won't do. A bunch of amateurs stealing the show? The script exists for a reason. Akos. Please speak only when you're spoken to, traitor. 
Traitor, traitor, traitor! Mia, you're one of the baddies now, you villain. <laughs> I didn't betray anyone. Then why do you stand with them? You think that is where you belong? But I... I... <laughs> Who are these goons? Torna. They're trying to get their hands on Pyra. Torna? Akos, just tell us what you're here for. Well, the Aegis, of course. I just had to come and see the leading lady with my own eyes. Jin, put you up to this. Well deduced. Oh, by the way, his orders were to deal with you in whatever manner I see fit. So, you know what that means. He wouldn't. You're lying! Why the surprise? Did you think he would still care about you? Oh, to live in your reality. How? Well, well. Your part in this play is coming to an end. So, time for you to shuffle off the stage. What's wrong? I know the name Torna. They've taken the lives of too many drivers, including some of my crew, good people. Rumor says it's because they're collecting core crystals. So, if this Akos is one of them, you, Zuo, get everyone out of the village. Yes, yes sir. sir. You ready? Ready. Got it. Thanks for this. No problem. It'll be tough. His blade, Obrona, she can manipulate the ether in the air. It lets him counter elemental attacks by generating fields of the opposing element. Finally, a decent opponent for a change. Let's go! Alright, so this has something to do about those elemental orbs I've heard so much about, I think. Yo, Akiko Kala? Uh, okay, second to meh, but it's the most annoying sound in the game. <laughs> oh, what? The traitors? Like that girl that said traitor, traitor, traitor? Was that the most annoying sound? What was the most annoying sound? Anyways, it's time you learn to take your teamwork to the next level, introducing chain attacks. Wait for your whole party to deal massive damage to the enemy. First, let's take a look at the party gauge. <laughs> what? Oh, so this is in the game. I didn't think it was in the game. Uh, we may have touched on this before, but it has more uses to just skin your allies back in their feet. When all three sections of the party gauge are fully charged, you're ready to launch a chain attack with pressing plus. During a chain attack, each of your party members in turn can choose one of their currently engaged blades to perform a special with. For example, first Rex might choose to use a special with Pirate, then Nia might choose Dromart, and finally Tori can use one with Poppy. Once everyone's had a turn, that's a single round. What's more, during a chain attack, you have the opportunity to destroy the unhelpful elemental orbs that attach to your enemies when using specials. If you use a special with an opposing element against an elemental orb, it'll be easier to smash, and you'll do massive damage if it does smash. So think carefully about the order in which you summon your blaze and which specials you use. Then, when you next start a chain attack, the party gauge will be replaced with the full burst gauge. The full burst gauge will fill up a little each time you smash an elemental orb, and when it's full, a full burst will initiate. As you might have guessed, when a full burst initiates, your enemy will be on the wrong end of massive damage. Earlier I told you that you'll need to hit home with the level 3 blade combo to add an elemental orb, but this time, let's just add a water orb to Akos for free. I'll drop you a little hint so that you can smash the orb effectively. You're better off striking with a special that can hit the opposite element, which in this case is fire. I've maxed out your party gauge for you. So why don't you try hitting the plus button and trying to chain attack for yourself? Okie dokie! Chain attack start! Alright, so uh, I want to use Pyra. Alright, so she got to hit it. Um, and then this is Dromak and Hasu. So I guess I should use Hasu so that I don't <laughs> hit it with water again? I don't know. Oh yeah, it bursted. And you only have Poppy, so one Poppy go. Alright, 
Oh, okay, so I get to do another one now? Oh, I guess I'll use my- oh, I can't use my level 2 special art. Well, then Gorg it is! Oh, wait, I could use Pyra again? Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Oh, cool. You heal this all. Up, oh, chain attack finish. Alright. That works for me. Yo, get Pyra out here. Well, that was interesting. We did destroy the elemental orb. <laughs> yo, with the host. Yo, Fartson, yo. Thanks for the host, man. How are you doing, good sir? Ow, that was painful. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm trying to get these, uh... Trying to get my elemental blade combo going. Or it's just called a blade combo, but... <laughs> yeah, the elements are important, yeah? Ow. And he keeps using that barrier to block my attacks. Feels bad, man. Gosh darn it, if you don't stop interrupting my three hit combos, dude. Yeah, there we go. We toppled. Be on the ground for a little bit, yeah? Alright, Mia, where is your water thing at, man? I don't know why she's using that stupid blade. She needs to swap. Yeah, there she goes. She's on the ground. <laughs> You're gonna get up, Missy. Yeah, there you go. Oh, whoops, it's been so long that fire is not active anymore. I didn't notice. Well, guess I'll just use a little too hard then. I mean, not particularly what I wanted, but <laughs> work with what you got. Ah, geez, she's just blocking everything. Oh man, this thing attacks so slowly, dude. This is awful. And I gotta miss too. Yeah, no, let's let's have Pyra back out, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that was even worth it. Just going for the level two blade. Oh, whoops! Gosh darn it! I was trying to get the level three water, but I just did a level one. Rip. <laughs> Not the best. Zerg saying use the gins for buffs. <laughs> Wait, wrong game. Yo, I would use the gin for buffs if I could. I assure you. All right, can I get a potion then? Uh, I used the shot, but I don't see any potions popping out. Yeah, use Pandemic. He's weak against that. Oh, I'm dead. Thanks for picking me up, Mia. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, but she had Final Disaster lined up. Why did she swap? Oh, Shackle Driver. Oh, I can't even attack. That's right. Well, I'll just... I'll just stand here then, because I can't do anything. You know, Fart's insane. Hello, and... Uh, steam explosion? Yo, got a steam explosion, man. Alright, but why is she using the wind one? I wish I could- Oh, Tora's down? No, 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 we need Tora. Ah, great, she's down too. No, pick people up. Why aren't you picking them up? Yeah, there you go, Tora. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's that one. Yo, get popped. Yeah, that went pretty bad. Yo, she sways. She'll knock him something proper. Wait, what quest is this? Oh yeah, the turn in. Blah, 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 blah. We help the little kids. Please take this. What do I get? Oh, hey, hey. Something wrong? I want to ask a favor. Let me be your apprentice. I'd like to hear the detail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, same here. Can you fill us in? My folks were drivers back in Gormont, but they got betrayed by one of their mates and died. Me and my sis got taken in by Van Ham. We're real grateful to him and all the mercs here. Sometimes my sis gets a bit sad all the time. She always says she wants to eat a whole grass-smoked salmon like mom used to make. Whenever I hear her say that, I get all angry in my belly. I'll get revenge one day. To kind of pay back the villagers, I've been gathering the kids to collect food and stuff for them. But I'm never going to get strong enough to avenge my parents like this. I want to resonate with the core crystal my dad left me as soon as I can. That's why you gotta train me. I want to be the best driver there is. Um, dissuade him from taking revenge. <laughs> Sorry, but no. I should have known. Adults are all the same. I thought you'd understand. Well, 
I agree. Playing at Mercs is good enough for the, that kid. None of this becoming a driver so he can go and kill people. I'm sure he feels frustrated right now, but someday he'll understand. Revenge doesn't solve anything, it just creates a vicious cycle. Anyway, thanks for saving the kids. I'll keep a better eye on them in the future. Thanks. Yeah, I have to say I absolutely hate the quest dialogue in this game. It's pretty awful. <laughs> like, I didn't do many quests in Xenoblade 1, so I can't really, like, compare. But yeah, nah, I hate that, like, all of my characters are all like, Oh, really? Please tell me more. Yeah, we would like to help. Question mark. Like, they just have all these stock responses. I hate that. It's really uninteresting. Like, that's the main reason why I don't do quests in a lot of games. Is because it's stupid like that. But, the quest was, like, right there, so I did it anyways. <laughs> well played, get good, plus one, yo. I will get good, no worries. I got this. This used to be a Dragon Ball stream, yo. How you doing, Inara? Yo, how goes the Dragon Ball? Alright, so he doesn't have the water orb this time, so that's really good. Kid wants revenge, he's obviously never played X31. Yeah, man, you don't want to go for revenge. It's no good. Alright, yeah, let's use heat. Oh, whoops, I used that way too early. I don't know why I was mashing the button down. That was dumb. Oh, I'll take that potion, please. Oh, come on, yeah, there we go, Steam Bomb. One of those, please. Alright, now we just need my level 3. So we can have a, uh... We can deal all the damage. Yo, give me the topple! Yo, topple! Wait, topple Steam Bomb? Why did that happen? I don't understand. <laughs> what was what was up with that, dude? Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah, now let's use the level three. Okay, again, I think the level three does more damage than level four. I'm not 100. Four thousand three hundred flow down. Okay. Now we'll use level 4 next time and see what's what. Hey, go ahead, use stone. So, I mean, it is his weakness. And it looks like it didn't really do much to him at all, but whatever. And yo, Anura says it goes. Me staying up till 4 a.m. without realizing it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man. That's, that's how fighting games usually go for me. <laughs> Every day so far, you have a problem? Yo, it is what it is, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna level up this stone one. I'm just gonna use fire to use it dissipates, yeah. Yeah, steam bomb with you? Yo, can I get this topple, dude? Yo. Okay, so I believe the topple just renewed the duration of Steam Bomb. It's interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that that's going away so fast. And even topple, he's still, like, deflecting a lot of my attacks. Like, he's on the floor deflecting me, man. Feels bad, dude. Alright, if I can just level up my, uh... can get these auto cancels, dude. Not happening anywhere near as fast as I would like. Yeah, here we go. Oh, come on, give it to me. There we go, level four. So it was what, four thousand damage last time? Seven thousand that time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, level four is better. Fair enough. I figured it would be, just... I've seen conflicting numbers before, so I wasn't certain. Yeah, he's almost done. Let's just go ahead and use our uh, special arts. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I can do a chain attack. Let's do that. Alright. Um, fire, yes. Oh wait, he has a fire elemental orb. Overkill start. Oh, he's already being overkilled. Sounds good. <laughs> Burst, okay. Yo, go Poppy! Alright, 
Good job, Poppy. Alright, I can fire it a second time. This doesn't really do that much damage. I don't really get what the point is. I mean, I like that I can heal myself. That's pretty cool. Oh, it did 22,000 damage. The numbers didn't look like they added up to that. Sure. Such an honor, sharing a stage with the legendary Aegis! <laughs> that they're taking each other's damage somehow. Yeah, rest in peace, Tekken and Nera. Ah, so that means that the Aegis is a mere mortal right now. In that case, a little more damage, and she'll be easy to deal with. <laughs> Pyra! Didn't we win this fight? Kids these days, I swear. Can't leave you alone for a minute. Could you use a hand? Leave it to me. I'll take this dog down! Uh. Yeah, no, it wasn't that you were getting your butts kicked. Pyra! 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 <laughs> she was getting bullied pretty hard. She. She's not badly hurt. Dromark thinks she just needs rest. That's good to hear. Maybe. I used too much power again. Hey, Rex. Hmm? Know what the difference is between me and that Aircos fella? Well, he's a bad guy trying to get Pyra. And you're. No. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. What if I told you that we weren't that different? Huh? My crew at the village, we think we're fighting for justice. But a just fight? I'm telling you now, there's no such thing. What people call justice, it's just an excuse to fight. War is war. The more you stand up for yourself, the more people want to fight you. Before you know it, you're in a war. Listen, all I'm saying is, we've got our fight, and he's got his. But what he's doing is... Yeah, it's bad. But war ain't about right and wrong. Power. That's all it is. And power can take many different forms. It depends on the heart of its wielder. If we don't use our power, just because we're scared of it, we're done for. As for who's right and who's wrong, no one knows for sure. So all we can do is protect what's important. I think I understand. We all got our own war, kid. My war. So let me see if I got that. War is awful. If you try to fight, you're just gonna. It's just gonna lead to war. Good morning. More people want to fight Pyra. you. Feeling better? 
Yeah. I slept no so one's right much. or wrong. Good. Glad to hear. Also, Nia's got something to talk to you about. She does? Yeah. Go ahead, Nia. Uh, um, I... Rex. I want you to come help me. Um, come where? To Van Damme. I need to tell him about my past with Akos and all that lot. Ah, sure. If you'd like me to, I will. Thanks. Nia originally said she was going to go alone, but I said maybe it'd be better if you went along too. Uh, maybe I should explain. Van Tam. He kind of scares me a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! I get it. <laughs> no, I think that's that's pretty logical. All right, party formation has changed. Yeah, it looks like a good party to me. Wasn't that the same party I was using two seconds ago? Hmm. <laughs> Why are we at this end? Wait, landmark? Haven't I been here before? <laughs> Many times. Whatever, let's just go where I need to go. And let's see, uh, get good? You're always getting good, no worries. Yeah, I got bopped by, uh, Akos. Yeah, yeah, Akos, man, he got me. I mean, the main problem was that, uh, I kept, uh, messing up my buttons, man. I was using the wrong, uh, special arts. But yeah, that's right. I wanted to look at the special arts. Let's see. Ah, uh, it doesn't give me, like, numbers or anything. But either way, Blazing End concentrates on a single enemy, and then Burning Sword says cleave the enemy with a giant sword of flame that detonates on impact. And two is Pillar of Fire, erupts from beneath all enemies, so I think if I want AE... Maybe it's only two? I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Maybe. And yeah, why I keep using the same blade combo? Because I like this one. It seems pretty good. But, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of using combos that don't involve uh, Pyra. Because Pyra is pretty strong. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I should go back to town and make sure that like I have everyone leveled up as high as they can go before I go on my crazy adventures. I'm going the wrong way anyways. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. I think I just wanted to go kill something and test out my abilities. But that can wait for now. Let me, um... Yeah, ox cores? Is that what I want? Let's see, what do we got? Ambush, reflect damage. Uh, special level 2. Increases blades level 2 special damage. Huh. Yeah, I guess I could give that to, um... What's-her-face? Nia. Arts aggro boost? Yeah, I already have one. Spikes. I've yet to be introduced to spikes. I don't think I need to mess with that. Smash resist, special level 1. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I use special level 1 a lot. Right? I mean, until I get special level 4. Obviously. Just go ahead and grab that. Helping hand? Increase blade arts duration time. That doesn't sound that useful. Jamming at 10% chance of evading ranged attacks. Meh. Alright, yeah, I think that's all good on that. Alright, so... Which button is this? <laughs> Beeline to the world tree? Yo, gotta make it to the world tree. Definitely. Alright, so what do I got? Uh, increased damage dealt indoors. Increased blade level... Oh, I already... I already have that. I was unaware. Well, anyways, let's see. Reduces light damage. Uh, boost block rate by 10%. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Give me that level 2 special damage increase. Yeah, she's the one that's always doing the level 2 and the blade combo, so she might as well deal more damage. That's more reason to do the combo I've always been doing, but it is what it is. Alright, where's the, where's the blacksmith at? It's gotta be somewhere. 
Alright, what are we saying? Uh, doop -ba doop -ba doo Getting bodied when I went to the world tree? Yeah, no, there's that giant leviathan thing. I don't know what it was. It was definitely giant. And it definitely destroyed, or tried to destroy my ship. But then we got eaten by this guy, Ralia. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> I wish he wouldn't have eaten me. Yo, where is this blacksmith, man? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Blacksmith, blacksmith. You're all mine. There's so many people here, man. And yet, I still don't see a blacksmith. What's that up there? Well, I can't fly up there, so it's too far. Too far away. Ooh, a treasure trove. You're all mine. <laughs> meh meh? Yo, got a meh. An overdrive protocol? I don't know what that is. Um, is it my item list? Uh, transfer blades bonded with the driver from the manage blade submenu. What? So what, I can move a blade from one person to the other? Is that what that is? Well, more importantly, <laughs> where is the blacksmith? Why can I not find him? Nope, not start. If I was a blacksmith, where would I be? Does it tell me what they are? Of course not. This is useless. I just need to see him. There's like 1,500 people. Oh, there he is. Alright. Ah, yeah, nah, I kinda got all the good things when I first came here, huh? Or no? Yeah, I didn't level up uh, this one. Let's do that, yeah? Much better. Yeah, I don't care too much about the blades that I'm not using. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother to level them up. Wait, how much monies do I have? Um, I have 29k. I mean, I might as well, even if I don't use them very often. Why not? I <laughs> have the money to spare. Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't use those blades very often. I mean, the AI Nia is gonna use whatever blade she feels like. I don't really have any control over that. She usually, usually uses Dromark though. Usually. Oh, it's you guys. What got you out of bed so early? Nia? Thanks for yesterday. You saved our skins. That guy, Akos, I mean. I wanted to tell you about him. You see... Thing is, we used to be... Being a mercenary, you meet all kinds of different folks. Huh? Your country, family, money. People got plenty of reasons to fight. Like fighting for a special girl. I see that a lot. Though not every girl has a strange crystal in her chest, eh? Y you mean Pyra? We're, we're just... Nia. You're with these guys right now. That's what matters. But... Aren't you... Anyway, Rex, weren't you saying you wanted to get to Elysium? Yeah. But we hit a snag. With a monster like that in the way, it's impossible. No guild ships getting close to it without going down. Well, I've got an old mate in the Orion capital. Got a feeling he might know a way through. Really? Yeah, I gotta go there anyhow, so I could introduce you. Van Damme, thank you! Nah, it's destiny or something. Don't sweat it. 
Get your stuff together and meet me by the village entrance. Well, that sounds good to me. Alright, what were we saying? Meh, meh, meh. Well, the Finks is where I think he is in the story. Nothing's important going to happen for the rest of the stream. Yeah, no? Nah, nothing, uh, nothing, uh, plot worthy, huh? This is one event, isn't it? Yeah, Rex plus Pyra. Ship confirmed. Yo, rip. Let's see, the ship name for Pyra and Rex is Pyrex? <laughs> is it? They're microwave safe. Maybe. <laughs> that all sounds stupid. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to head over there, yeah? Let's just travel on over then, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready. Just letting you know, it's a good way to find Zemima from here. Plenty of monsters out there on the road. Make sure you've got yourselves all kitted up before we head out. Are you ready to depart? Yes. All set then. Let's get our backsides over to Fonza Mima. Pronto. Okie dokie. Time to head out. You, Zuo, take care of this place, yeah? Nay, nee what is? Leave it to us, boss. Boss, you're in a good mood somehow. <laughs> I guess so. Well, take care. Who names their child you? That's a terrible name. Huh. Who are these water adepts? Yo, you're farming ether crystals and tiger tiger? Yo, I'll, I'll do tiger tiger again later. I don't think I need to do too much tiger tigering right now. I think we're strong enough. Got some pretty good items last time I went there in the uh, last stream. Oh my. awful I mean I wonder how that Titan even felt being like because it's like part Titan part machine I'm sure that can't feel dandy but either way man why did why do they need like 50 million core crystals why do they keep taking out drivers and why are you dancing it's not dance time all right where do I need to go what just down yonder I can do that Is this way, yes? <laughs> Shush you? Yeah, I don't know, man. You, I think, is a pretty terrible name. You uh, know, let's see. Ten Soccer is in the end game and wants Poppy to be OP. <laughs> Yo, Poppy is life, so that's a good idea. Valiant only has equipment left for Poppy. Yo, gotta, gotta get all the stuff for Poppy, man. That's important. Poppy deserves everything, like, let's be real. He's a wonderful little robot. Wow, the world has many amazing places in it. <laughs> the world has many amazing places, huh? <laughs> Looks like all the chat about the Aegis was true. Who are you? That's a heavy burden you have there. Sure you're up to it, pipsqueak? See sets, step aside and let the big boys take charge. Come on, yield the merchandise. Huh? What? Van Damme. Do you know this guy? 
Never seen him in my life. Bah! <gasps> of rinky-dink, bogus, two-bit, no-mark drivers, aren't you? Behold the mighty Zeke! Von Gembu! Bringer of Chaos! Mostly known as Zeke, and often addressed as the Zekenator! <laughs> Behold my blade, Pandoria! And this is my sword! The Purple Lightning Dream Smasher! If you want a taste, come and get it! <laughs> We're good. Good? No! Wait! Wait, you barbarians! Oh, this guy. I'm tired of him already. Gah. You think you lowlives can lick the three of us? Three of you? I count two. Not someone. Huh? Oh, get a load of this. Our beloved mascot, Tartars, reveal yourself. Huh? Tartars? 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 Where, where, where are you, boy? Tartars! Oh. Hello, little guy. How are you? What are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> Turtles! Handling a man's turtle. Uh, he could have just grabbed Pyra there. Why did he go for his turtle instead? Ugh, what an idiot. Uh, listen, whatever. She'll be mine soon enough. Got a problem with that? Then come at me! And don't hold back! What? Is this guy for real? <laughs> Do I really have to fight him? <laughs> but I don't want to hurt his poor turtle, man. What is he, like, the Team Rocket of this game or something? <laughs> Get out of here, guy. Oh, we'll just take the fight like we take all fights, and then... I mean, I like his sword. It's pretty cool looking. What is he doing? He's, like, posing? Oh, okay. He's using a blade art. Yeah, where's my steam bomb at? You wanna use that sometime today, Missy? Yeah, there you go. And then, yeah, we just need to get level 3? Or I guess I should level up to 4. Yeah, we have the gold beam. It's not taking a lot of damage. It's not dealing a lot of damage either, though, to be fair. Alright, there's level 3. And there's four. Ah, huh. oh, there it is. I was like, where's my damage at? It's so weird how you can attack from so far away in this game. This is what it is, though. Go ahead and use this level 1 art. The Zerkinator's battle theme is life. <laughs> is it? <laughs> and your Tensakura with the... <laughs> what is he? Like the Team Rocket in this game? I mean, that's what I assume. The Wolf King saying, so I need some advice. I finished Chrono Trigger last night. Should I do New Game Plus or should I play a different game entirely? Clearly, Wolfgang, you should become the biggest boy in the world. New game plus, and you have to beat Lavas going through the teleporter at the beginning of the game. That's what you need to do. Are you ready? Can you do it? 
I believe in you, Wolfgang. You wanna see all the endings? Yo, gotta see all the endings, man. Like, why wouldn't you? Wait, yeah, let's use Steam Bomb. Oh, I shouldn't have did that there. That was dumb. Yeah, I was using the Steam Bomb, so I accidentally did an auto cancel earlier than I meant to. Oh, get up, would you, Nia? What are you doing? Yo, it's no Tori, could you? Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Right, can I get that level 4, please? Yeah, there we go. This should do it. <laughs> At the very least, put him really close to the middle. <laughs> yep. No worries. Yo, would you like to be toppled? Of course you would. Oh yeah, that's what you see as he... One day I'll experiment with other combos. I don't know if that day is today, though. Okay, he's done. <laughs> GG, friend. Fights in this game take so long. I know, right? Good try. Not bad. But, 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 but. Wipe yourselves down and get ready for my super ultra mega move! We're waiting with bated breath for your super duper whatever. You asked for it! Bringer of chaos! Ultimate oh, lightning fury slash! This music right here. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Crystal Chronicles. What just happened? They. What an idiot. Don't say that every day. Come on. That's enough nonsense. Indeed. <laughs> that was very silly. And yo, Letterton Gaming, how's it going? Saying, uh, thanks so much for being in your stream the other day. No, it was fine, you know? I'm always willing to just check out people's streams. And I noticed you were streaming, so like, yeah, let me just hop on in this stream, see what's what. I didn't really know what game you were playing. I didn't really get it, but I was just chilling there anyways, and it was fun times. <laughs> the Ze uh, Zekinators blasting off again? Yeah. Looks like he uh, didn't make it. And let's see, is this better than the last two games? Um, I didn't play Xenoblade Chronicles X myself, so I can't really say anything for that one. But so far with this one, I'll say that like, um, I definitely enjoy the story. I don't know if I'd say I enjoy it more than Xenoblade 1. I just like the characters a lot. Like especially Nia, I really like Poppy, Tora's cool. Um, Pyra's R8. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the story so far, but I don't know. Xenoblade 1 story was pretty good. This game's got a long way to go if it wants to be comparable. The combat system has more things in it, I guess. Like, there's these elemental orbs I guess I have to work with, and there's blade combos. But as far as, like, the actual mechanics, at least up to this point, because I'm like, what? I'm like about 17 and a half hours into this game and the combat's really 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 slow the combat in this game is extremely slow like there's there's depth to it i guess but it's like i don't know like when you first start playing xenoblade chronicles 1 you have access to so many things versus this game where like it just kind of dribbles it you know <laughs> one little drop at a time to be able to do things like I only just learned how to do like the party attack the chain attack or whatever like I don't know like 30 minutes ago or so and that's like something you had so early on in Xenoblade 1 but yeah in Xenoblade 2 like no 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 you can't you can't do all these things that's way too much 
Ah, oh, he knocked me off a cliff. I'm not dead though. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> am I going the right way? I don't know. I don't want to fight you, Carlin. Leave me alone. This game looks a lot like Fantasy Star Online. Does it? I've never played any of those, so I wouldn't know. All I can tell you is that I'm inside of a monster. It ate me. Yo, what is that? Hmm. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that thing was still attacking me, I guess. Here, rip. It's only slow because I'm bad? Yeah, sure. Um, the game's really, 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 um... Slow, like it just is as far as combat. Like, it's the same thing as, like, Nino Kuni or Final Fantasy XIII. And, like, I'm not trying to say Nino Kuni's a bad game or anything. I like Nino Kuni. But they do the same thing. Like, for whatever reason, they're like, this combat's way too much for you to, like, understand. We gotta give you, like, 50 tutorials and give you one tutorial, like, every hour or so. And so, like, literally the game just doesn't let you do things. You're not allowed to do a lot of things that the game has. Or, you know, you just don't know about them. So, there's a lot of, uh, combat stuff. You just don't get to see. And yeah, as far as the combat goes again, like... In Xenoblade Chronicles 1, you have access to all these different abilities that you can use, like, right off the bat. Like, not just the mechanics, like, chain attacks and stuff like that, but, like, you know, you would, like, backslash, uh, the side slash, whatever that was called. You know, so you could break things, uh, you would have your stun, someone else would have the topple. Like, you have that right at the start, man. Like, or at least very early on, versus in this game where, like, again, it was, like, about 14, 15 hours until you get the, uh, until you get topple. And it's like, are you serious? Like, I can't, uh... And yeah, and you get smash around then as well, which is like the new stun or whatever. It's, uh, it's pretty silly, I think. Like, this game is just way too slow in introducing, uh, mechanics. But I enjoy the game. Like, I'm having fun, but... I wouldn't say off of what I've played so far that this game is better than Xenoblade 1. I would not say that. Let's see, if combat was at a normal speed, then Banks would be 1.5 hours in, not 15 hours in. <laughs> I mean, it is slow, but I wouldn't say it's that slow. <laughs> it's, it's definitely slow, though, I agree. Seems like you swing the sword really slow. Yeah, I mean, but, like, that's the whole thing, like, as far as, like, Xenoblade 1 was, like, it's not really about your auto attacks. Like, I mean, there's one character that's about auto attacks, but aside from that, in, uh, Xenoblade 1, you know, it was about your abilities, chaining those together and getting lots of damage out, versus in this one, it's all about getting those auto cancels because it builds up your, uh, special arts faster. And by using your special arts, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there he is. But yeah, by using your special arts, you can do these blade combos, which deal a lot of damage. Your normal attacks, like, look at that, you're doing like 200, 300 damage, I guess 400 on that one. Oh, 500, probably from the top one. Oh, miss. But yeah, your, um, your arts do quite a bit of damage, but your arts also are really, really slow, because you build them up by dealing auto attacks. Like, I just used my X ability, so I can't use that. I can use B, um, I think I can use Y, X is on cooldown, I'm trying to build up to, oh wait, Steam Bomb please? That would be nice. So yeah, I want to build up to my Special Art 3, which I'm almost there. And do I have the Gold Beam? Yeah, I have the Gold Beam of Trust and Friendship, so I should very quickly go to level 4. Yeah, there goes level 4, so we're gonna use that. And this will probably kill him? But yeah, like, this is, like, just a random enemy, right? Like, this isn't, like, a boss or anything. I mean, he's, like, one level higher than me. But even then, like, the fight takes some time versus, like, if I was playing Xenoblade 1 and I was fighting an enemy like that, like, the fight wouldn't go anywhere near that long. Tora had Topple from the start. Yeah, but, uh, the game doesn't really introduce you to the idea of Topple, and you don't get Smash. Let's see. And, uh, oh, hey, Vinx, I never noticed the fuzzy pickles behind me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? What do you mean, fuzzy pickles behind me? There's no... Oh! Oh, you mean... Yeah, 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 the nest. The nest. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what are you... What are you talking about? Yep. Um, it was a birthday present? Or was it a Christmas present? 
Must have been a Christmas present. That was that was close. Here. Yeah, from uh, one of my friends. Yeah, he was trying to remake Ness, but he wanted to give him like my colors, which is why he has like the blue hat. It's pretty pretty cool, man. I appreciate it. And uh, Farson says there's a couple secrets you could tell him. Yeah, I don't know all the secrets. <laughs> GG Ness, yo, gotta gotta be Ness, man. And Larry says, uh, wait, the fight is starting. I'm gonna go take a shower, eat dinner, go to the movies, <laughs> and be back before Banks is done with the fight. Yeah, no, nah, like I'm just finding like this little tiny like little raptor chicken thing, right? But like we have to go all in. Like he's toppled. We're using like our special arts and everything. Like combat in this game is really slow. At least so far. Like, it might open up or whatever later, but without a doubt, combat in this game starts off very slow and mechanics are introduced very slowly. I mean, like, he is three levels higher than me, but... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's awful, man. I mean, I don't mind it. Like, I'm not having a bad time. I'm having fun, but... It would be nice if combat wasn't so slow. That would be cool. Because, like, that was my main thing with Xenoblade 1, honestly. I didn't like how slow the combat was and how repetitive it got. I'm like, currently I find combat a little repetitive. I recently just got a chain attacks, so that helps. Like, that's something. But even then, I still find combat kind of slow and repetitive. I haven't really been introduced to many enemy types that are really asking me to change my strategy. But it is what it is. How am I supposed to get that? I don't think I can get treasure that's um in the water. Yep. I'm going the right way, yeah? Let's take a look at my map. Um <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't say. I just gotta go north, yeah. Wait, didn't I just come from over there? Let me look at my map again. Oh wait, no, I'm all the way down here, yeah? Uh, nope. Gosh darn it, that ZR. I wish they weren't called like R and ZR, it confuses me, man. Wait, so... No, I want to go south, yeah? No, I'm just getting turned around, man. Okay, I can just jump into the water, yes? I'm pretty sure you can just jump into the water, it'll be fine! <laughs> it's fine, okay. Yeah, you don't take fall damage landing in the water. That's nice. Need to get a switch? Yo, the switch is pretty cool, without a doubt. That's probably the Konami code? Yeah, if you do the Konami code, then you get through the game a lot faster. Because, like, every time you die, you just come back. And Letter 10 saying, uh, I hope the secret wasn't too pointy. <laughs> Yo, wouldn't want that. That'd be unfortunate. Is that like a super strong monster? Ah, level 74. Yeah. Let's not let's not hang out with him, man. Quote 48. I'm swimming, I can swim. Yo, gotta swim. How do I get up there? I don't I don't think I can get up. Gosh darn it, man. I don't get this game. Sometimes. It's like, yeah, just go over here. How? How do I go over there? Uh-oh, level 28 guy fighting me in the water. I can't fight back. I'll be dead in just a second. Oh, he let me go. That was very nice of him. Uh-oh, there's another bird. <laughs> bird, let me go! Can I, like, get out of the water here? No, I cannot. Ah, what do I do? I don't see a way out of the water. Let's see. How do you get out of the water? Yo, if you want to tell me the secret of how to get out of the water, I'm down for that. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to get stuck. I was just like, oh, I can just I can just fall down here and that brings me a lot closer, it'll be fine. What I didn't know is that it wasn't gonna be fine. I don't see a way back out. I can't get up to that giant staircase. Why is it just like a rock in the middle of nowhere surrounded by water that I can't go up? What's up with that, man? 
Let's see. You train for the next All Rest Summer Olympics? Yo, that's smart. That's a good way to go about it. Alright, where can I go? Oh, is that treasure? I'm pretty sure I can pick up that treasure. I mean, if there's one bright side to, like, not knowing where to go, it's that I usually stumble across treasure. I wasn't looking for it. I was looking for the way forward, I just... I didn't get that. Yeah, like, look at that, right? Like, the city's right there. That's where I need to go. Like, it's a giant staircase. Like, unless there's, like, a way up there from the left or the right. I don't know what to do. Cause I don't... I don't see a way to do any of that. Yo, know, I disagree, Doomsday. I think you just, um, what's the word? I think you're biased, and I think you like this game a lot, so that you want to defend it really hard. And, like, I'm not even saying the game's bad. I like the game, and I like the combat, but it is slow. Like, it just is. Especially compared to Xenoblade 1. Which is funny, because Xenoblade 1 wasn't exactly super fast or anything. Farts insane, are you aiming for first or second, maybe? I'm not aiming to get anywhere in, like, first or second. I just want to get over there. Like, look at that place, man. It's clearly some sort of city. It's where I'm supposed to go. But how do I get there? Um. Yeah, I don't see a way to, like, get around or anything like that. Maybe if I go up here? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see an up. It looked like it on the map. Wait, here we go. <laughs> Not as steep as I thought. Come out, come out. Alright, uh... It says I can, like... Oh, wait, that's right. I'm not trying to go north. I'm trying to go south. Yeah, all of that's, like, a higher elevation. Um... How... Do... Does the, does the stairs go inside of that rock? I thought they were just on top of the rock. Yeah, no, it goes inside. <laughs> Yo, that was very interesting looking. But yeah, no, there must be a way to go down and we'll come out from there. I just need to find a down path. You know, whatever's hitting me needs to leave me alone. Another one of those stupid things. Alright, so instead of trying to go to where the stairs are, I want to try to find a way to go down a level. If that's possible. Um, I don't see anything. But it should be along the south, right? You would think. Maybe over there? Ow! <laughs> that was, uh, not quite the damage-free fall I thought it was gonna be. Giant staircase OP? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out some way to get down there. I just don't know what it is. Nope. This is not it. <laughs> this is where I started. Um... How do I get down there? There's gotta be a way to go down. It's weird, though, because it's water above it. But, like, there's clearly not water where the stairs are. Um. Oh, maybe it's over here. Okay, so I need to go, what, east? Let's go east. Let's do that, then. Something somewhere. Haha, I didn't take fall damage that time. Honestly, this part is poorly designed. It's harder than The Witness. <laughs> Yo, man, The Witness is easy, to be fair. Like, let's be real. Wait, let me get whatever that is. I call on the power of water. 
Hmm. Doesn't quite have the water mastery for that. What do you what do you need to have that level of water mastery, my friend? Was it this one? No. That's ancient wisdom. Where's water mastery? Oh, that's that. You don't even have level two water mastery on your second ring, huh? Hmm. Huh. Yo, that's unfortunate. All right. We just won't bother with that. Come out, come out. Do you saying how are you enjoying this meh game? <laughs> Yo, you think the game's meh? Yo, rip. Nah, um, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. Uh, I think the game's pretty fun. I like the characters. I find the world to be really interesting. I like the combat. Which, I mean, yeah, I know everyone, or everyone, Doomsday is a little sad that I'm calling it slow or whatever. But yeah, no, I like the combat, I like the characters, I like the world. Um, as far as, like, things that I dislike about the game, um, I don't know, I feel like some of the dialogue scenes might be a little slower than they could be, or should be. But, I mean, I play Golden Sun, so I don't have, uh, I don't think I can really speak coming from there. And then, um, aside from that, I don't really like these salvage points or whatever. Or not salvage points, but, like, that thing I was just at where it's like, you need water mastery too. And it's like, I'm not even close to having that. <laughs> like, not even close. How am I supposed to do that? And, like, there's a lot of lock pick lock picking things that I was coming across before I had lock picking, Which I have now, but it's like, I'm not going all the way back to some random chest. Which I'm sure isn't even worth it. But those are minor complaints, at best. They're not giant complaints. Alright, so what, am I just freeing them from some monsters? Tense Doctor fully agrees that the combat is slower than XE1 and XEX. There are ways the game is told to speed it up, yo. I don't... I don't know what, like, tiny things y'all are talking about. I'm not gonna put much emphasis on what you guys are saying. Because it wouldn't be the first time we're like, yeah, you can totally do this thing and it changes everything. And it's like, oh, if I hold this button down, I get like plus one, yay. <laughs> Such optimal gameplay. Thanks for the giant tip. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll see as we go. Uh, Boeing says, first time in this part of Uraya, I was completely lost and wandering around like this. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, this game, man. Because it's like, the game makes you want to follow that little arrow around all the time, right? The arrow usually points you where you need to go. Like, throughout most of the game. But every now and then, it's like, yeah, go here. And it's like, you can't physically move in that direction. It's not possible. You have to find some way around. And the game doesn't, like, tell you that. There's nothing that's like, hey, you know, you should focus more on looking around than just following the uh, arrow. It reminds me of, a uh, Skyward Sword. Like, cause I remember you would, like, start dousing to, like, find certain things or whatever. I remember being in this area, like, with just lava everywhere, right? And I'm like, man, I have no idea where to go. Like, I was looking for something, I think it was Zelda, I, I don't remember. And I'm like, alright, where is Zelda? And so I used the douse thing, and then it's just like, yeah, go directly into the lava. <laughs> I'm like, no, that can't be right. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go into the lava. Which you're not, like, there is a way to go, like, around and down, but, yeah, the game, uh, like, the dowsing's not that advanced. Alright. Also, this is a hint before anybody deletes my comments, cores can give field abilities. Yeah, no, I I've seen those before. I've seen the field abilities you get from the other cores. I was specifically looking for, uh, like, I can't remember, I think I was looking for, like, wind mastery or something earlier in the game, and I made, like, 15 blades or something. I can't remember how many blades I made. I made a lot of them. Let's see. Yeah, I made a lot of blades, and none of them were giving me what I was looking for. It's it's really just luck, you know? So, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Banks, you're so flippin' cool. <laughs> you think so? Um, I'm cool with that. I will not say no to someone calling me cool, by all means, but... 
I'm just playing video games over here. Nothing crazy. Alright, um... Uh, hmm. This is not what I'm looking for. This is not where I wanted to be. I think I can go up this way? But even then, I don't think this is the right way. I'm bad at exploring? I mean, like, if you want to call me bad at exploring and every single other person that's playing this game bad at exploring, then sure. But, like, it's obviously a fault of the system. Which is really weird because Xenoblade 1 didn't really have the same problem as we discussed, like, last stream. Because, like, generally, with that game, the way it did its nav indicators was that it would just put them in certain, uh, points. So there would be, like, a chain of points. It'd be like, first go here, then go here, then go here, here's the destination. And by doing it in that order, it wouldn't tell you to, like, go through a wall or to go through a mountain. Versus this game where it's like, yeah, go up through the mountain. <laughs> it's like, I can't go up through the mountain. It's not possible. And, yo, what is this? Like, I could totally go down there if I could, like, swim down, like, one inch. But apparently that's impossible. Come on, guy. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Oh, here we go. Blocked floodgate. It sounds like what I need to interact with. But, uh... I don't think I can interact with that from here. If it was up there, I could do it, but I don't know how to get up there. Maybe I can, like, walk across the, uh, floodgate itself? I sure can try. <laughs> that didn't work out very well. <laughs> this is, this is gonna be awful, but I'm gonna try. Letter 10 saying, um, playing video games like a pro, and I could not stream today, migraine and such. The last two days were amazing, though. All of you are so amazing. Yo, thank you. I really appreciate that so much. Like, literally anyone that, like, comes into my stream and is just, like, very positive is just gonna make me, like, really happy. Like, I love seeing that stuff when people are just really, really positive. Like, it's always gonna put a smile on my face. <laughs> I'm very, very easily pleased. I really am. And, uh, D saying, hey, Binks, you definitely, uh, enjoy the, enjoy the one shots the boss? Can do to you later in the game, my dude. I think you're trying to say there's a boss that can one-shot me. Yo, I'm down to fight the one-shot boss. I'll beat him. It'll be easy. Alright, so, if there was a second path besides this one, it would be that one over there. Let's go do that, then. <laughs> Instead of trying to go this way, let's go that way. Yeah, that's it, that's it. How do I get over there without dying, though? Yeah, we just gotta go back around, that's all. Floodgate? Maybe a giant beaver made it? Yeah, probably. And dude, you made me a streamer, don't ever forget that, yo. I mean, I was just playing, <laughs> I was just uh, doing my thing. I wasn't trying to do anything crazy or nothing. But that stuff, it does, it makes me really happy. It really, really does. Cause yeah, just like, back in 2015, I was like, you know, like I learned of Twitch at that point, I'd seen some like speedrunners and stuff, and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really get Twitch, but let me try it out, you know? Like I'm playing Breath of Fire 2, cause I had just beat Breath of Fire 1. And I was like, yeah, let me play Breath of Fire 2, and I'll stream it. And then <laughs> that somehow, you know, adapted and changed, and here we are today. I've made a lot of people start streaming. You know, there are a few that I know, uh, people that have told me, like, they got into it after watching me. Which is really cool, you know? Because, like, streaming, like, it's not this, like, super complicated thing that, like, I thought it was. I was like, if I stream, like, you know, it's, like, it's gonna be so difficult. I don't understand how, like, OBS and all this stuff works. But it was actually relatively simple. It, it really wasn't that bad. Oh man, I'm aggroing all the monsters in the world. But I'm at the floodgate! Tell them to- uh oh. That's- yeah, that's dead. At least I found the right way to go. At least we got that going. Yo, D is saying, I'm trying to say there are quite a few bosses in this game that'll one-shot you legit. You'll get fed up really fast. Yeah? Yo, I'll- I will see, man. I want to see these bosses. Like, I've definitely lost to a couple of bosses, but I've yet to be one-shot. I want to see that with my own eyes. 
And I, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying I'm up to the challenge. All right, and letter 10 saying, so because of all of my illness, I can't stream on a regular schedule. Dead said in uh, spring, he wants to stream regularly for you on your stream. And you're cool. You're okay with that, but your entire setup is in your bedroom and you spend 100% of your time in your room. That might be weird. You're he's 62 years old and wants to play League of Legends. You had to give him a firm no to that idea? Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I can definitely see how that could be a bit uncomfortable. But yo, legit, I would check that out. Like, I'd be really curious to see, um, you know, someone from a much older generation playing a game like League of Legends, which is definitely, you know, a newer game. Like, I'm very curious what his perspective would be. <laughs> but yeah, no, that whole setup sounds like it could maybe use a little worse. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's trying to be so supportive, though. That's nice. You know, Pyra, you wanna, you wanna pop back in? Yeah, I don't know why I bored it, but I must have accidentally swapped to him. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that on purpose. No siree. Alright, let's go fire. Oh, and defeated. Yeah, we're gonna fight our way to the, uh, thing this time. I didn't realize all the enemies on the way were gonna aggro me. Gosh darn it, why am I Gorg again? Did I do some sort of weird thing? So that Gorg is, like, my default guy? Get, get out of here. No, pirate. <laughs> Much better. Oh, wait, no, can I have the level 16? Yeah, that's who we want. Oh, they aggroed me. I was gonna try to lure him, but... Yeah. Let's see. Um, like, I'll accept, like, whatever this special tip is or whatever. If it's something the game's already told me and I've forgotten it, like, if it was in a tutorial, then that's fine. But if it hasn't been in a tutorial yet, then I don't want to know what it is. I don't want to see combat things that are meant for later in the game. And it's no good. Let's see, Tense Doctor noticed when Banks switched to Gorg? Yeah, no, nah, I didn't notice. I don't, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Gorg. Like, he's not bad, and, like, I definitely upgraded his weapon, so he's a lot stronger. I should honestly try to use him a bit more, but, oh, man. I don't know, he just attacks so slowly, I don't think it's worth it. But I should be more willing to experiment, especially early on. So I should probably do that. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, that guy didn't make it. You know, D saying, uh, yes, Vinx, you don't auto attack cancel into auto attacks and so on and all that. <laughs> what, auto attack into auto attacks? Yeah, I don't, I don't do all that. I definitely do my attack cancels if that's what you're talking about. Let's see, letter 10, I know absolutely nothing on this game, so instead of tips, I will give you completely fake and made up tips instead. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to give me fake tips, that's, that's completely cool. I could ask Poppy for help. Yo, Poppy is the best. Yeah, where, where'd he go? He was here just a second ago. Oh, he's over there now. Yeah, this creature's interesting. He likes to just jump away. Honestly, uh, all rare blades have the potential to be good. You know, that's nice. It's just, oh man, have you seen? Because, like, it's just the way that this game is, right? Like, yeah, let's switch to Gorg so we can see what I'm talking about. Like, okay, so all my abilities are currently active, so that's nice. But yeah, let's do the three attacks, right? Like, watch how slow this is. Uh, maybe it is actually kind of similar. It feels so slow to me, but... I guess it's not as slow as I perceive it to be. But man, I swear by attacks, they just feel so slow. Well, one way to find out. Let's see if I can get level 3 for uh, water in time. Because I could definitely do it if I had Pyra. Let's see if I can do it as uh, Gord. 
Oh, I launched him? Uh, yep, that was on purpose. That was completely on purpose. Absolutely. Why wouldn't it be? Ouch. Yeah, knockdown's okay, man. Yeah, no, I think he's gonna die before I can get to level 3. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, launch, that launch ability, even when I'm not launching him, it does a lot of damage. Gorg might not be that bad. Alright, let's see. There's a lot of chat. Let me see if I can read this. Um, on a, Yeah, I already read the Rare Blades. Let's see. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Ten Doctor saying, oh, so you want to be reminded of tutorials? In that case, I have something you could do. You should know about blade combos. Okay. Anyway, here's the thing, Vinks. There are pouch items that let you change art specials over time. If you want to use arts and specials more often, you should use them. Pouch items that let you... Oh, charge arts and specials. Got you. Okay. And D says, okay, this is what you want to do. When you use an auto attack in your control stick, slightly press a direction as fast as possible, then let go. So you're pressing the control stick for a few frames. That's an auto attack cancel. Is that a real thing? <laughs> what is that? I've never heard of such a thing. Are you making stuff up? Is that one of the made-up tips that Letter 10 was going to give me? Or you were inspired? It sounds very strange. Yo, Brontagana, come over here, man. <laughs> it sounds really bizarre to me. I don't know about all that. Do you mind not just jumping away all the time? I'd appreciate that. So yeah, let's use fire. And yeah, because I've used fire, I need to stay on fire if I want to get to level 3. Yeah, I really should compare my level 3 like water combo and my level 3 fire combo. Now where'd you go? Would you stop jumping away? It's real rude, you know. Oh, I can launch, right? Yeah, let's do that. That launch is so slow, dude. Like, I was like, I'll just get one auto attack in, cancel off of that, and do the launch. But by the time the move actually executed, yeah, now that whole topple bar was gone. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's just use my water thing. Yo, Venom water. Let's see it. <laughs> Why must you run away? Yeah, let's just do a chain attack. I'm sure this will make everything great. Alright, yeah, let's use Gord. Uh, it's Remark? Yeah, that's pretty good damage. And yeah, overkill start. Yo, go Poppy! Yo, 11k? Yo, thanks for uh, all the stuffs. Alright, let's see. Yes, that's a real thing. Try it out, Vanks. It makes combat faster and charges arts way faster. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not watching your channel, Deez. Don't, don't, like, that's, that's, uh, very taboo. Like, you don't say that you're streaming in someone else's stream. That's not something you should do. Especially, like, inviting people to watch your stream in someone else's stream. That's like, uh, that's like, what, what would you call that? Um, unabashed <laughs> self-promotion? You don't, you don't do that. It's very rude. But I figure you probably didn't know, so it's it's not a big deal. But so you know, that is a very rude thing to do. Alright, Whisper and Igna, you're going down, buddy. Yeah, no, I need to... 
understand this whole tech thing. You have a dumb question, says Litterton, but uh, where did I get the shirt at? Um, I got this shirt while I was in Australia. Um, a friend gave it to me. He got it from some sort of like Nintendo uh, event for Donkey Kong Country. Oh, no, 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 that's not what it was. The, it wasn't an event. I believe the shirt is from like a past event from Nintendo or whatever. But yeah, like, then they were all done with this, and some other events as well, and they were going to just throw the shirts away. And my friend was friends with someone that worked at that Nintendo place, and he was like, yeah, if you want these shirts for free, here you go, and he gave him the shirts. He couldn't fit them, and he was like, here you go, thanks, these are for you. So yeah, they're Nintendo shirts. What he means is flick the control stick for an instant right after your first auto attack. It's more noticeable with Pyra than Gorg? Okay. Let's see. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, he does. That's weird. Yeah, he goes right into another attack. Oh, that's so much faster, dude. That's very interesting. Why don't I have. Yeah, Gold Fire, you know that. Oh wait, oh yeah, that's right, I can't move away from her or I lose it. Alright, can this hit the other guy though? I don't know if this is AD or not, or if it's close enough. Nope, it didn't touch him, okay. <laughs> Good to know. I don't think that's AD, or if it is, it just has really small range. Oh my goodness. So with that being the case, I should be auto-canceling my first and second hit, and then... Uh, I don't know all the terms, but yeah, I should speed along the first and two, uh, second attack, and then do the normal auto-cancel on the third one. Okay. Interesting. So Banks, remember how I said combat was only slow because you were bad? <laughs> That's one of the reasons why. Well, it's like, how am I supposed to know, right? Like, is that me being bad, or is that the game not explaining its own mechanics? I'm pretty sure it's the game not explaining its own mechanics, but... Yeah. Alright, now, Letterton, my dad once dated a woman from Australia. She came to the US. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, that's, that's really unfortunate. But yeah, definitely Australia, or at least what I saw of it. Because I, I didn't go all over Australia or anything. I was in Tasmania for a time, and I lived in uh, Melbourne for a time, specifically the CBD. But uh, yeah, no, I definitely, I had a lot of fun there. I met a lot of good people, they were very welcoming. But yeah, I'm sure not everyone in Australia is the best. I went down under, when was this? I went to Australia in 2012. Yeah, I went there in 2012, back in like March, I went for three months, and I was in Tasmania the whole time. And then I went back in, again, late 2012, like around November. Yeah, November 22nd. And then I lived in Australia, like I went, was in Tasmania, I think until January? And then in, uh, yeah, 2013, I moved to the CBD and live there till 2014, December again. But yeah, it was good times. Thanks, you can just auto-cancel your first hit constantly, so when your first hit comes out, cancel it. Yeah, I'll, I will try to get better at that. I'm trying to catch up on chat right now. There's so many things I've missed. Uh, let's see. doop doop doo and G saying, Lamau, I didn't mean it like that, but I see where you're coming from. Minez just wanted to quickly show you tech. Yeah, yeah, I, I got you, I got you. That's fair. And to soccer, it's basically a trick that charges arts really fast at the expense of higher damage on successive auto attacks. Yeah? Alright, let's see. I don't, I don't understand it very well, but I'll get there. Okay. Oh, I see. So I can only do the first part of the auto attack string. So, yeah, you cancel the first auto attack over and over again. 
which allows you to get a lot of those hits in. You can level up your arts. But, uh... Okay, okay, yeah, that's, that's actually good. It's pretty good. It's not, like, optimal in all situations. It's, it's very different than how I perceived it the first time. But, uh, yeah, that allows me, because, like, normally I would do my first three hits, right? And I'd be able to get the uh, ability I start with. I could use that to level up my uh, special art. But then on the second chain of auto attacks, I wouldn't have uh, like top, uh, anchor shot or whatever the like sword bash or whatever it is. I didn't have access to those abilities because I hadn't done enough auto attacks yet. But if I use my auto attacks, then I can very quickly gain access to a second art. Which really, I feel I'd only need like the one hit to get a uh, anchor shot. Yeah, let's okay. test that out real quick. So yeah, I'll do the first like three hits, right? And then yeah, I'll just get that, and then I'll do a hit, cancel, do the second hit. So now with this, yeah, like easily I have anchor shot, which I don't always have, but if I cancel the hit, it's guaranteed. So that's that's interesting. It's not as good as I thought it was. But, uh, it's definitely something. It's definitely something. It's like, I don't want to focus on just doing these auto attacks. Because they do quite a bit less damage than, like, everything else. But if I'm down arts, which I obviously am right at the start, that helps. And then also, if I need access to certain abilities, that's also pretty nice. Because, like, say I want to topple something, but I was using, uh... My topple ability is just part of leveling up my special arts. I can then very, very quickly bring out topple again. Because you need to get, do a certain number of hits before you can use your abilities. It's not optimal in most situations. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Uh, Tense Doctor doesn't think it's optimal in most situations, unlike most of chat, apparently. Yeah, no. Nah. It's, um, it's definitely cool, but the damage numbers are pretty small. And again, like, I'm not leveling up my special art. I mean, I can specifically only do, like, level 1 special arts, I guess? Instead of going for 3? Let's, let's see what the, uh, increase is like with that, yeah? This is so weird, dude. <laughs> it's so weird. Alright, so yeah, I'll use my level 1. Let's see how fast I can build to get the level 3 that I'm gonna need. Oh, I did that wrong. Yeah, practice makes perfect, so we'll get there. This is so weird, dude. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not quite ready to do this yet. This is gonna take a little time to, like, do right. Yeah, and then when I use that ability, if I use an ability, then I can't do the thing. I can't do the cancel. Really weird, man. Alright, whatever. Let me just use my level 4. Yeah, I need a stronger enemy to, like, really test these things with, man. That would really help. Alright. <laughs> you kind of just decided to stop talking about it and just cringe? Yo, live that life, man. Live that life. Tense Doctor doesn't care about the auto stutter because of a certain blade skill. You know, fair enough. And yeah, that ability is useful, but it's not about the stutter. Yeah, nah, I, I don't know, man. I don't want to fight every single monster in the zone, man. Can I just be on my way? Oh. 
God Arm Drivers. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> they need to leave me alone, though. Oh, Stone Gate Ruins. Oh my goodness, how long are you gonna chase me for, dude? It's not even chasing me. That was weird. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's see, D's. Uh, thanks, we'll find out eventually. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out all the things, man. Yeah, it's, it's tough to, like, really get a grasp on, uh, the damage numbers. Because, again, I'm, like, always fighting, like, different things that have different values of, like, health, defense, and whatnot. And then, even then, like, there's all these numbers coming at me. You know, you have my specific numbers, the numbers of my allies when they're doing their attacks. And so I have to compare, you know, what I'm doing in one fight versus another fight. And with all the different variables, it gets very confusing. And it's a lot of information just being thrown at me. Versus, you know, like, say if it was just, like, World of Warcraft, I could just pull up my damage log and I could just see the numbers and know <laughs> what's optimal, what's the best. It'd be a lot easier. But nope, it just gets you to look at all the pretty numbers. Some of which get obscured by themselves. Ain't that great. Come on, come on. Yo, you liked my Facebook page? <laughs> Yo, thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, like, um, I don't post too often. Well, I mean, I post, like, pretty much every day that I'm, like, when I'm streaming. Like, I'll generally, like, with my Facebook and my Twitter, I'll post, like, when I'm streaming. And if there's, like, anything, like, schedule updates, I post my schedule on both my Facebook and Twitter. And if anything kooky's going on, <laughs> I'll definitely post it. I'm trying to get better at it, though. I want to start trying to post more, like, snippets of videos of my VODs on Twitter and Facebook. I did that with The Witness, and I definitely noticed a lot of people checking it out, so I'll try to do that. <laughs> we did it! We made it here! Looks like they've expanded the military program. That's a lot of warships. These ships look different to normal ships. Yeah, we don't muck about with our Titans much. No need for it. Orion's like things pretty natural. I've seen Orion ships before, back in Argentum. It's like the total opposite of how the Ardanians use them. There could be one reason, they're always at each other's throats. They've been like cats and dogs for a long time. Well, from where I stand, the Adenians are worse. All their metal is just bad taste. It's easy to think that way. But you're not considering how the Titans themselves feel. Huh? Don't all those modifications hurt? When Titans live with humans, that's just the way it is. Hmm. I used to have a hut on my back, and a crane stuck where the sun doesn't shine. I never complained, not even when Rex fired up a grill on my shoulders. Hey, you used to like that. Hmm. Well, yes, I did like that. In fact, I miss it. If I did that now, we'd end up with Rose Titan. Indeed. <laughs> So what, do Titans like becoming these metallic catastrophes? Is that what he was saying? The Titans look, I would assume, you know, it looks so much more peaceful this way. It looks more content. Well, I mean, to be fair, the other ones, you can't really tell how they feel. They just look like abominations. Uh, well, I'm trying to consider how the Titan feels, but I'm not really going to know unless it tells me. Yeah, what's up, uh, Ugen? Poppy asked this person if they have helpful information. 
Is Master Pan being lazy and making Poppy do all work? A war with Morardane could easily break out at any time. That's why we're stocking up the Titan battleship with food rations. The Empire make a move to expand their territory, only Araya will be able to stop them. So we must always be on our guard for the sake of other nations as well. Yeah, that makes sense. I get that. Alright. And yeah, Tense Doctor talking about uh, elemental resistance. Yeah, elemental orbs. So wait, like, do elemental orbs always pop up every time I finish a blade combo? Because, like, I know Akos, when I started that fight, he had an elemental orb at the start of the fight. But um, he didn't have an elemental orb when I did the refight. Because, like, it was just part of the tutorial. I figured elemental orbs were just, like, something that enemies had sometimes, some sort of buff. I don't really understand that. Is it me performing the blade combo itself that gives them that elemental orb? Like, if I use a fire one, that gives them a fire elemental orb, and therefore I should do water on the next one? And then vice versa, just back and forth? Is that how that works? The doctor notes Gramps didn't actually answer whether or not it hurt. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, and you thought the Titan battleship at Toriagoth looked like an abomination? <laughs> well, yeah, no. Nah. And yes, they pop up when you do a combo. Okay, okay. I never noticed before. Can I can I fight this guy? I cannot fight him. <laughs> I wanted to see the elemental orb. Let's see, unless you've already done the same type of combo previously. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought it said something like that, but I never noticed an elemental orb. Cause yeah, no, I re I actually reread that tutorial today. I was watching my old VOD because I wanted to specifically watch that tutorial and see if there was something I missed. And it talked about the elemental orbs, but I was like, yeah, I guess I'll do whatever as soon as I notice one. I just never noticed any. Fonza and Mima is in a state of panic, preparing for the war to come. Make sure you don't stand out too much in case the army draft you into their ranks. Well, I figure we'll all get dragged into it somehow, eventually. Uh, Uraya's armed forces are essentially made up of both the regular army and the mercenaries. And come wartime, us mercs will be swimming in gold. Okay. Alright, <laughs> so can I get better weapons here? <laughs> That's what I want. What's that? It's a distribution center. The government tries to ration out what little resources they have. In practice, it's just first come, first served. Okay, that's the last one for today. <gasps> yeah, rip. <gasps> come on! I'm a soldier. Been busting my gut for this country. That should be going to me! Not the likes of you! Huh? Don't look at me like that. Respect your elders, you snot-nosed brat! Are you okay? What do you think you're doing? She's just a child. What? Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? Rex, this isn't our business. Leave it. <sighs> Being an adult isn't just about barking orders. Sometimes, you need to help someone weaker. Uh, shut your face! You don't know what the hell you're talking about! So wait, are the other, like, soldiers just gonna stand there and not do anything? Like, that's the military police and he's just a mercenary, isn't he? I mean, he said he was a soldier. He's wearing the armor that the mercenary I was just talking to had, so I don't know how that all works. Either way, this guy's going down, man. Alright, let's use the level 1 iron. We got it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use all of my abilities since I have them, and then try to do the auto cancel thing again. Oh, I thought I used fire already. Did it run out? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Alright, now let's use Steam Bomb. 
Can I get to level 3 in time? Oh, whoops, I already have all the things. Come on, guy. Let's get those auto cancels, man. Up. Oh, the parries are real. Yeah, this is not gonna happen, man. Yeah, I got level two, but level three wasn't gonna happen. Like, I can get all my abilities really fast, but if I'm not using them as part of uh, the auto attack cancel chain or whatever. I just don't build up meter. I mean, it didn't help that I used Steam Bomb so quickly after I used Heat, but still. Yeah, this time I'll be fine. Come on, give me level 4, let's go! Oh my goodness. He kept parrying my auto attack, so it was slowing it down. Oh, oops, I pressed B too early. Yo, 14k! Let's go. Yeah, the first auto attack is so weak. Do you mind not carrying all of my stuff, dude? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Yo! Nothing I can do if he just wants to carry all of my attacks. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. That crystal? Yo! <laughs> it took him that long to Not notice. Good. He'll be bringing others before long. The rumors about Pyra must have traveled pretty far. Even grunts like him have heard him. Sorry. I guess I should have used the cloak. But who spread rumors? From what I hear, it's some. Um, Fancy pants Nopon merchant. A Nopon merchant? Excuse me, Mr. Van Dam. Huh? Oh, well, if it isn't my owner. You grew a fair bit. How's Grandpa Cole doing? Ah. Not too good then. Who's this? Huh? Oh, this is my owner. That old friend of mine takes care of her. Hi, Iona. Great to meet you. Come on. Let's beat it before those soldiers show up. Alright. Well, that worked out just fine. <laughs>